It's just, it's like crazy. And then she goes on stopper right there and this could end. It could end me with the SP too. Someone's, and then he hits me again. Good day, YouTube. We're back for another war video and I'm your host, the one, the only Lefty Knox. <laughs> no, no, no. And today I decided to be different. I wanted to bring in some overpowered champions for this war. So I brought in all my rank fours. I only have three. I could be more if I wanted it, but I'm still deciding who I want to rank four. And this time we brought in Dr. Doom. We brought in Professor X and my personal favorite Hercules. So let's get into it. All right. Here we go. First off, only rank fours in this war, and I'm loving it. First up, we got Ebony Maw. I decided to go in here with Dr. Doom. Could have went in here with Hercules or probably even Professor X, but we all know Ebony Maw can be annoying, and Doom has that passive shock, and I love it. So right there, he blocks me, which I will never understand. So I was able to resist my heavy, which is just unfair, but it didn't cost us too much. I don't think he hits me for the rest of this fight, and as long as I play smart, you know, make sure my five hit combos are up to par, do my regular doom rotation, which spoiler alert, I messed up my doom rotation, but again, it doesn't really cost me because Ebony Maw decides to be a little friendly. So I decided to get to my SP3. Things are still working out. I thought this would actually hit harder, but surprisingly it does not. But at the end of the day, with a rank four, what can you do? I could have thrown on some boost. I chose not to. And right here, I, I forgot why I lingered for a second. I was kind of paranoid afraid that you know because every time you knock him down he becomes immune so i thought he would be immune from my passive stun but he wasn't so i didn't get my doom rotation off right so this fight would have been over had i known that but at the, at the end of the day it doesn't really matter it doesn't cost me we managed to get out of the fight i think i'm gonna go throw my sp2 right here and just end this whole man's career nice try ebony maw but you're not a match for rank four doom so Moving on, things are still working in my favor. So let's head on to the next fight. And next up, I believe we got Jabari Panther. And I decided to go in here with Professor X. I was thinking Hercules, but I thought Professor X clearly had a class event uh, advantage. I got to admit, she can be a, a little annoying every now and again because she can stroke off the stun. And I do get messed up, get clipped. But again, it doesn't cost me because I have the falter effect on, which kind of does save me from the five hit combo and i fought on a few hits but again right there she hits me and i'm just like Why? but we're, we're still good we're still uh we're still playing this smart i gotta make sure i dex out of her sp2 and i think i threw my sp3 and pretty much in the fight again not really a bad no, no placement in my opinion i thought it was pretty good she does hit me right there I say getting hit over rank four. I feel like with rank fours, you shouldn't be getting hit. That's just, you know, my opinion. But I decided to throw my SP3 right there. And the fight's pretty much over. You know, she wasn't a match for a rank four, Professor X. I do plan on taking up more rank fours. I haven't decided who. I'm still waiting on Kabam to be nice and give me. Yeah. But we'll see in due time. So next up, we got Elsa Bloodstone. Now. I was gonna go in here with Professor X, but I was like, she might have the damage masteries on because every else I faced had on the damage masteries and lo and behold, she doesn't. And I feel like her can afford to take that damage because he has the immortality. So yeah. And plus this is a good fight to start building up Herc because I, spoiler alert, I do take the final boss and uh, it goes interestingly. I could have played it better, but <laughs> I was in such a rush to get the final ball because I didn't want Leo or Alberto or anyone else to get it but me, so. And by the way, this is a war I did call the final boss and I got it, and everyone was mad at me about it, but hey, it happens. So as you can see, this fight's going well. She managed to get off her SP1, but it doesn't really matter, and boom, fight is over. Let's head on to the next one. Nice try, Elsa, but you're not that woman. Not for this fight. All right, next up, I was going to take that Nick Fury, but someone got to it before me. So let's just head on to the section two. And up we got, ironically, we have a Dr. Doom. Now, looking back at this, maybe I should have gone in with a different champion, but Dr. Doom versus a Doom he has on the damage masteries. Couldn't ask for a better situation. All I really have to worry about is the unstoppable, but I can easily nullify that. 
if I want to, even though he is passively immune. Well, he's immune to uh, shock, but who cares? Again, I don't think I'll make any real mistakes in this war. Things are still working out. I just gotta get him to throw his specials and, you know, play into my attacks. But as you can see, still working out pretty good. Things are looking good. I'm feeling confident. I'm thinking every fight's, you know, Yep, it's gonna be a breeze in my opinion, but I'll spoil alert. It does. It's not a breeze It's so not a breeze, but We'll see <laughs> you will get to that fight sooner or later But uh, as you can see things are working out good here I'm just gonna throw my SP one right here and then end this whole man's career Nice try dr. Doom decent war placement, but what rank four is there's not much I can't handle so Next up we have the one the only it is wake i gotta admit this is kind of odd nose placement for me but with hercules it's all good i was gonna go in here with professor x but i was like i don't think that would be a good idea because he had i think she had limber so I was stunning her without and plus he goes he she goes unstoppable so i was like yeah i'm just gonna get the safe play and just go in here with herc and handle business the way i always do and it's a good way to build up his oh she hits me right there and then she hits me back to get a uh, back to back I'll tell you, this AI, this AI is so ramped at times. Like, this AI knows exactly what it's doing. So, she gets those aftershock charges on me, which is so annoying. And I managed to throw my special two there, but she gets unstoppable, so I had to handle that. But we managed to stun her anyway and end the fight. So, yeah, things are working out, looking really, really good, feeling confident. And this is the fights where it goes down here really quickly. Domino. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you, right there, she breaks my parry. I don't know how. I'm not going to ask questions, but she breaks my parry. And that's okay. You know, Doom is, Doom is kind of tanky. So we can we can take that. And she also, I think she has Limber on her. And she got that unstoppable for every, what, six or four seconds? I don't know. But <sighs> this girl, she's a problem. I don't, I don't care what nose she's on. She's a problem. So as you can th see here, things are still working out pretty good to start off. Things are working out in my favor. I'm loving the energy and uh, I'm feeling confident. I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't care that it's Domino. Domino can still get this work. And for the most part, she definitely does. Now, after this SP3, uh, anyway, after this SP3, watch exactly what happened. So I do my regular Doom rotation and randomly she evades on the last hit and it's like she had a whole nother level that she can achieve. I try to power drain her. That fails. I'm just, I'm starting to panic here a little bit, but I feel like with 39% health, I still feel like I can take her down, right? So I'm just, tr I'm trying to bait out her SP2 right now. And she manages to throw it, which is very kind of her, but still I try to passively stun her. Couldn't stun her right there. I don't, I guess it's because I have bad luck on me or a critical failure, one of the two, but I have both on, so. Things are not looking as like well as I hoped them, but I feel like even with 19% health, I'm good. I mean, right there, see, I missed the uh, passive stun again. It's just, it's just like crazy. And then she goes on stopper right there, and this could end. It could end it right here, but man, luckily, luckily, I get to my SP3 by the grace of the RNG Jesus, because it, it's been crazy. It's been really crazy out here. So right here, I do my doom rotation and I gotta admit I'm a little nervous doing it But I'm going to do it anyway just in case but one more hit and she ends it But she decided to not evade and we managed to end this fight. I got out of here I don't understand how I made it But someone at Kabam likes me Someone at Kabam headquarters likes Lefty and I, I thank you Thank you so much because I was nervous. I was extremely nervous and it's just oh goodness gracious Next up we got Rentra I decided to go ahead again with Doom because clearly he has a class disadvantage or class advantage against Hercules and I just didn't want to risk it with um, Professor X. Professor uh, Ventura, he can be a tanky guy and Doom has, you know, has that damage that can just easily melt this guy. But you want to know what's ironic? I actually ended up throwing two of my SP3s that in this guy, which is really weird because I didn't realize how tanky this guy was. But he has on the damage masteries, which works in my favor, so... I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling it. Like, keep on those. If you're in war facing the my, uh, my alliance, make sure you have one of the damage masteries. You know, they work out better for everyone. You know, your champion is poisoned, and yeah, 
it works out great so right here is my first sp2 and i'm thinking this should you know pretty much in this guy but lo and behold i'm assuming this might be a rank 3 rentra i'm not exactly sure but it does not do the damage i thought it would do like i didn't understand that so i throw my doom rotation steal his power and i probably could have you know threw my sp2 here but i decided not to for some odd reason i don't know what i was drinking that day but decided not to throw my sp2 right here throw, uh, throw my second sp2 uh, sp3 and this does not finish him like i'm confused like who knew rentra was this tanky this is a tanky guy so as you can see my second sp3 still does not end this guy like but my regular doom rotation does so make sure i got my rotation in and in this whole guy's career i still had to throw my sp1 though but it's still i still ended up it doesn't matter i still managed to get this guy down so that worked out on my favor didn't make any mistakes so i'm feeling confident and good about that so let's head on to the next fights now i wanted to take these next two fights but my one of my teammates beat me to it and he took down the vision because bruh but Anyway, we managed to take on Null as the final boss, and I gotta admit, this fight does not go well. It goes bad, really bad. Right there, starts off a little rough. He hits me with his heavy. Why am I getting hit with so many heavies? First it was uh, Quake, now it's this guy? I don't understand, but anyway, I'm trying to not get him to throw his SP1, and for some odd reason, he throws it right off jump. <laughs> so now I gotta worry about my controls being reversed, and he decides to light intercept me and throw his SP1 again. Uh, and then he's a unstoppable and unblockable. So my SP2 does not do the damage I wanted to do. Got hit again right there. And I'm degening. I got a bunch of armor breaks on me. My controls are reversed. Things things are not going well. Things are just not going well. I don't know what I... Like, I was trying to beat my other teammates to the boss. And maybe I should have let them take it. Because it's uh, going rough. And right there, he throws his SP1 again. What is going on with this AI? It's almost like he it knew, like... It was playing against me and decided to ramp up the difficulty. So I got him to SP2. I got him exactly where I want him. I wanted him to throw the SP2. And guess what? He hits me with the SP2. Someone's... And then he hits me again. Oh, my goodness. So now I'm already panicking. But I remember that Hercules is sick 200. So we can afford to stretch out his immortality. So I'm just trying to play aggressive. And then he throws his SP1 again. But we managed to get the fight down. It wasn't pretty, but y'all don't come here for pretty fights. Y'all came here for uh, ugly fights, and we managed to get the fight down. So that was my war. It wasn't the prettiest war, but we managed to get through all the fights and didn't take any death. So I think we did win this war. So yeah, if you could hit that like button for me and for anyone new here, if you can hit that subscribe button for me, I will greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care and have a great and wonderful day.